Welcome to the CoinFlex Automated Market Maker, also known as the AMM Plus. AMMs are a way to stake your crypto assets and put them to work to earn a yield or an interest on them. The CoinFlex AMM lets you stake your assets and become a market maker on the CoinFlex exchange. You earn yield in FlexCoin, CoinFlex's native token, as a reward. The first thing you will notice on the main page is that you can either stake normally, unleveraged, or using leverage. Of course, using leverage is more risky, so it is not recommended to use it until you are more familiar with how the system works. Next, you can choose which direction you think the market will go in. How the AMM works is that the system will automatically set buy orders and sell orders around the market price. It will essentially scalp price swings for you. While using the buy direction, you will be scalping long positions, aka buying the dip. Using the sell direction, you will do the opposite, sell when the price goes up. You can also just choose neutral, which will set both buy and sell orders. Great for range bound markets. Using the buy option, you stake USDC and the sell option, you stake the crypto. For neutral, you will stake both assets so you can both buy and sell. The first example I will go through is a neutral non-leveraged position. In this pair, you must put in the amount of ETH you want to stake as well as the amount of USDC. Next, you will set the price range to stake your assets in. This is a new way to concentrate your assets in a specific price range rather than stake all of your value throughout the entire order book. This increases overall efficiency of your assets and results in higher yield. When staking in the neutral strategy, the ratio of value of each pair determines the midpoint of the price range. For example, having more ETH value than USDC results in a higher ETH price middle point, as you have more ETH to sell than USDC to buy. You will gain more yield with a tighter range but risk the price going outside the range and not receiving any yield at all. Here's an LP I opened a couple days ago. You can see I put in 1.5 ETH and 4,000 USD. My range is here and it was neutral. The system right now has my position at 0.09 ETH, which means it has bought slightly more than it has sold in its market making. I only made 94 flex on this LP so far, which comes out to about 38% APY, but some of my other strategies have done slightly better. There's a multitude of ways to structure your strategy. If I were to turn this position into a sub account to end my staking, I will end up with a position of 0.08 ETH long. Looks like the system just sold 0.01 ETH. I can then go into the newly created sub account on the CoinFlex exchange and physically deliver this position. Which means my 0.08 ETH long will turn into 0.08 ETH. This is possible because I have enough USD to do the conversion and because the CoinFlex repo markets, which converts the ETH to USD at the market price. For my next position, I'm going to use leverage to open a long position on ETH USD. I can choose any asset to use as my collateral, as I am borrowing against it. You can use up to 10 times leverage. However, since you are now using leverage, you now have a liquidation price point, which is the point if the price reaches, you lose all of your staked assets. The more leverage, the less the price has to move for you to get liquidated. While setting my range up here, the lower the bound of the range, the lower the liquidation price will be. However, Doing this, I will make less yield than if I did a tighter range. When opening a neutral leverage position, you must be aware of liquidations on any price spike or dip, up or down, so be careful. It is definitely recommended to use the unleveraged position first to familiarize yourself with how the system works. Let's see how this three times ETH long does. Okay, I'm back a couple days later, and I scored about a 200% APY so far, that's pretty good. The market conditions were just about right for this type of position. The price dipped a bit for my system added bids to hit and then back out for them to sell a little bit higher. Looks like I'm stacking that flex.